You probably know megabyte and gigabyte, or even terabyte. But what's a yottabyte? Kila, mega, giga, tera, peta, exa, and zeta are among the list of binary prefixes used to denote data quantity in bytes and bits. Some are more common for measuring consumer products. For instance, your smartphone might have 128 gigabytes of storage, or your external hard drive might have two terabytes. A yottabyte is the largest unit approved as a standard size by the International System of Units. While yottabyte storage is not yet in use, big data and the demand for higher capacity drives grows every year. Read more about big data environments, trends, and storage needs in the link above or in the description below. Currently, there is nothing that can be measured on a yottabyte scale. That's how big a yottabyte is. To put it in context, two gigabytes is about the space an average movie takes up. 1,024 gigabytes equal a terabyte, one of the largest commercial use storage media units on the market today. 1,024 terabytes equal one petabyte. Facebook's data warehouse stores about 10 billion user photos, which adds up to about 1.8 petabytes of storage. 1,024 petabytes equal one exabyte. 1,024 exabytes is one zettabyte, which is equal to about 30 billion 4K movies. And keeping that in mind, 1,024 zettabytes bring us to one yottabyte. A single yottabyte of storage would hypothetically take up a data center the size of Delaware and Rhode Island. And while there's just not enough data in the world to measure with yottabytes, experts anticipate that the world will reach data levels in the yottabytes within a decade. And even knowing that, there's still a bigger prefix, though unofficial. The brontobyte, named after one of the largest dinosaurs, the brontosaurus, is 1,024 yottabytes. What do you think? Will we need to start using yottabytes in the near or distant future? Share your thoughts in the comments, and be sure to like and subscribe too.